Um, good afternoon, Excellences, Chairwoman, ladies and gentlemen here today. It is a great pleasure for me to be here at the fourth ITU Global Standards Symposium. And I would like to thank especially Dr. Chisop Lee and the ITU for inviting me in representation of Costa Rica to take part of today's discussion. Pura vida, we say. Costa Rica is a small country in Central America, and I guess some of you imagine a tropical forest and beaches, maybe a toucan or a sloth or a turtle. And that's okay, because Costa Rica has embraced environmental sustainability in many of its developmental stages and strategies since the 1980s. Today, over 98% of the uh, energy in the country comes from renewable sources. And almost 25% of our territory is protected. We recognize decarbonization as one of the greatest challenges of this generation and aim to be one of the first countries to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. Of course, our commitment to decarbonization also extends to digital transformation. In Costa Rica, 92% of the waste from electrical and electronic equipment is managed properly in facilities, facilities dedicated to disposal and recycling. No, that's not true. It's the other way around. Only 8% of e-waste is collected and treated adequately, while 19% ends up mixed with ordinary waste, and at least 32% may not even be traced. And even so, Costa Rica's e-waste management statistics are the highest in the region, along with the highest amount of e-waste generated per inhabitant. It would be nice to be at 92%, but that gives us an idea of the work ahead. Costa Rica has been building a strong public policy framework to promote decarbonization, circular economies, and proper waste management. To this date, we have a national decarbonization plan, a national policy for sustainable production and consumption, a law for integral waste management, and a national strategy for bioeconomy among several other public policies related to sustainable digital transformation. They are built along with academia and the private sector. Since 2010, an e-waste management executive committee, which involves diverse public institutions, industries, and academia, has addressed the subject actively. I believe that's a fundamental step towards sustainability. And moreover, Costa Rica has aimed to face sustainable digital transformation with a regional perspective and supported by international co collaboration. In partnership with ITU, Costa Rica has had the opportunity to join an UNIDO GIF project that assists 13 Latin American countries, both technically and financially, advising on e-waste policies and regulations, suitable management technologies, business models, capacity building, and awareness raising, both national and regional levels. Also with the assistance of ITU, Costa Rica implemented successfully two ITUT standards, recommendations ITUT L1031 and L1032, which aim to achieve e-waste targets and proper certifications for e-waste recyclers. Our experience has been recently published in a case study by ITU. All these efforts move us one step closer to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, particularly SDG 12 on responsible consumption and production. The Paris Agreement and the EWIS targets of the ITU Connect 2030 agenda. Looking forward to this speech today, I did the exercise to visit the facilities of one of the largest e waste recyclers in Costa Rica. It's called Solirsa. And it's quite an image. Imagine this conference room uh, full of huge boxes and bags and crates filled with printers, servers, laptops, cell phones, and tablets, all covered with dust and ready to be dismantled and their different parts classified to be recycled, disposed of, or exported. Over there at that side, there is a table, a work table, where they dismantle these different devices. That is also what digital transformation looks like, but we just probably don't see it often enough. Although they are certified I, uh, ISO 14001, they are still on the way for an ITU certification but they have work, been working on it. Of course, e-waste management is only one of the many aspects of sustainability in digital transformation. It must be financially and, and economically sustainable too, but it must also be energetically efficient and aim to leave no one behind. 
that's also part of sustainability. Digital transformation is not sustainable if artificial intelligence can point me to a personalized healthy diet, but the farmer who sells fruit in Costa Rica can only accept cash. It's not sustainable if I can stream a 4K movie using Wi-Fi 6 at home in the city, but there are almost half a million rural children in Costa Rica who can't access remote basic education. It's not sustainable if my own aunt thinks she should change her phone just because it ran out of storage space. There is no point in thinking about smart cities or smart communities if we don't have smart citizens. There is no point in thinking about sustainability if we don't have brave and responsive leaders and responsible leaders, policymakers, regulators, service providers, network operators, equipment manufacturers, researchers, developers, ICT businesses, users and consumers. And that's the people we are here today. I kindly would like to invite you to think about the digital transformation we know and think about how we can make it sustainable. And please try it for a couple seconds. To me, that's not enough. I believe we shouldn't be thinking of making digital transformation sustainable as if it were not supposed to be, and we are kind of fixing it. I believe we, and I mean all of us here, as mentioned, must ensure digital transformation is sustainable. Sustainable from its beginning, circular by its design. Because the world's digital transformation is just beginning. 5G will not be the last generation of mobile communications, nor it will be the last time we must all change our devices to adopt it. AI is not the only technology that will change the design of hardware and make obsolete most of what we have. Industry will go beyond 5.0. The global pandemic showed us a huge digital divide worldwide, which still remains. Standards provide us with the common language we need to develop consensus on these key topics, learn from one another, and create a foundation for common growth and innovation. They are the keys to sustainable develop, uh, digital transformation. And ITUT, ISO, IEC, and other standardization bodies have taken remarkable actions approaching emerging technologies such as AI, automation, computing, 5G, IoT, and many others with a strong sustainability character. We're moving forward. But developing ad adequate standards is not enough. We should ensure the whole process is successful. The high-level discussions should, be, should derive in timely implementation of standards and policies, which correspondingly should result in the digital inclusion of everyone, including Costa Rican fruit farmers and maybe my own aunt. To me, that's why we're all here together today, exercising our different roles. So how do we achieve sustainable digital transformation? First, we don't lose focus. Think of 5G, think of IoT, but also think of the toucan and the sloth and the turtle. And then think of the huge bags of, laptop, of laptops and smartphones and tablets over there. Second, embrace the studies and harness the data. Get involved with the standards. You can start with the Costa Rican studies if you want. It's a little bit above 400 pages, but uh, they have executive summaries, and you know how that works. Make informed decisions. Use technical criteria. Adopt standards re responsibly, and establish policies timely. When I asked the people at the recycling center, how does the future look like, they had it very clear. They said, it might be promising for us, there will, be, there will be much more e-waste and with less value. But we can make it work only if extended product responsibility be becomes general, generalized. And third, act accordingly. Work together. You know, they say, think global, act local. You know, that's easier said than done. But that's the third part. How do we achieve sustainable digital transformation. We have a wonderful session ahead, and we will explore the role of standardization in managing the energy efficiency aspects of digital technologies. Let's achieve net zero together. Let's get to work. Thank you.